Hi, I'm back for another tutorial. It's Elena from Bear in Mind Planner Company. Stick with me, we're gonna learn how to make some stickers for your digital planner using Keynotes. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, we're going to be using Keynotes to make some planner stickers. First, we're gonna open up Keynotes here, hit create a presentation. I'm going to click on this white presentation there. It says double tap, but I just want you to single tap. The options will come up to delete and delete. Now we have a nice blank canvas to start with. Okay, so we're going to be utilizing the shapes tool that is in Keynotes. And up here is some options. We're gonna be using this plus button. This is going to add in objects. And over here you have photos, camera, that sort of thing. You can do shapes, graphs, and tools over here. We want the shapes tool. And scroll over to basic shapes. And you can see here we have just a few basic things that we can use. The other option is that search symbol and we're gonna search heart, and you can see that they have a few different ones there. We're gonna take this one. You can resize it to whatever size that you want. The other option too is you can tell that this is all staying uh, proportionate. Have it selected, click on the paintbrush tool, and that's gonna bring up a few options here. We have style, text, and arrange. We want to unclick the proportions right there and now we can slide this up and down and move our proportions around if we want to keep the proportions go ahead and click that back on so now with our heart selected I want to fill in that heart again if we use that paintbrush tool hit style you can use the colors that they have preset hit fill there are gradients that they have or preset colors that they've already done they also have gradients where you can have a color on top and a color gradient into the other. We can even add images in here. Now, if you use these images like they are, it's just gonna automatically fill it, which is very nice and handy. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you how to mask it and you can play with that shape a little bit more. So what I wanna do is, doesn't matter what color it is, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And I want you to go over to Google and I found some photos that I downloaded. <clears throat> These were, I searched uh, iPhone cover photos just because a lot of them are free and they're really pretty and the proportions are really nice to what I was looking for because later on we're gonna make some boxes. So this one's really nice. Uh, it's a shimmery purple. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here to Keynotes, and I want to add in a photo. So I hit the plus symbol, and now I'm gonna go to Photos. And here, I want my recent, and that shimmery purple that I just had. Now I can resize this also. Say, okay, well what am I gonna, that's about that size, so I can do that and we're going to click both of those. You click one of them, hold it, click the other. Now you can see that I've grabbed both of those. If those are the only two things on your page, the other option to do is click off to the side and hit select all. So now you see our options have come up here and it says mask with shape. Click that and as you can see, we can move this around and we can mask that shape and fill it in with whatever area we want to. Once you get it to where you like, you can even make it larger or smaller. And once you get it to where you like, you hit done, and there you go. You have a really pretty filled in heart. Now what you can do, that's really big, I don't want it that big when I transfer it over to my stickers. So I'm gonna leave it like that. These go back and forth really easy between Keynotes and your uh, GoodNotes app. So I just held down, I'm gonna hit copy and now I'm going to go over to my GoodNotes app and so this is a sticker book here that I was playing with. I'm going to hold down and hit paste and there is my sticker. Resize it to whatever I want 
and there we go. So let's make another one. I'm gonna hit the plus symbol. I'm gonna go over here to shapes. I want this circle. Do they have a half circle? No, that's okay. We'll just do a circle here. Now add in a photo. Size that down a little bit. Select all, mask with shape. Oh, look how pretty that's gonna be. Done. Isn't that neat? It's just a simple way for you to make your own personalized stickers. Now you, of course, can write on this. You can um, add in text if you'd like, and what you would do, you'd go over to the Shapes tool again, and underneath Basics, you would find your text tool. And what do I want to write on there? Good morning, sunshine. And then select it and hit your paintbrush tool. I'm gonna to go to text and then you can pick out a text, anything you want. And then I'll go to size. I can even change the color of this. I bet that'll look nice. There we go. Get rid of that and I can move it around. Now you're gonna notice that I'm using my hands more and I have kind of dropped off using my um, my pen or my eye pencil. And that's because with uh, Keynotes, whenever I use my pencil to do things, it always wants to draw. So a lot of times I just put the pencil down. <laughs> and so now we've got this Good Morning Sunshine sticker. And so I'm going to hit off to the side, hit select all. I'm going to copy, go ahead and jump back over here to good notes. And I'm going to hold down, hit paste, and there's my sticker. Resize it to anything you'd like. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how to do these boxes. Now, <clears throat> open up keynotes. So select all, that's selected. I'm gonna delete that with Boxes, a lot of boxes are sized proportionately for either the Happy Planner boxes or other, you know, they're all pretty similar in the rectangles that they use. So I tend to go for the size of Happy Planner just because it's simple to remember. It's 1.5 inches by 1.25 inches. And with Keynote, they use points. They do not use inches. So I've done some conversion for you here. Okay, so now that we have our sizes, I want you to sh uh, hit the plus symbol there and we're going to grab a basic square box. Now right now I can move this box any way I'd like to make it larger or smaller. And you can see there on the right side that the width and the height comes up. But nagle with this a little bit. It's not as easy as it looks because it wants to, the numbers want to jump around in points. Points are so small. You'll see when I let go, it was at 108 and now it's at 107. So nagle this around. And if it's not exact, don't. Be worried it's not a big deal that's close enough did it move oh look at that I got it right on that was lucky so <laughs> what I want you to do is hit that plus symbol again and I want you to go over here to my shapes and you can see that I've saved some shapes already and so the how you do that click on it 
and then that option add to shapes comes up up here and it's right there in the middle so you can click on add to shapes boom there it is now if I click on this and hold it until the rename option comes up or the delete I can even rename it so now I can say that this is you know 1.5 by 2.25 and I'll know that it's there and that would be considered my outer box and then if you want to make an inner box what I would do is tap on that I would hit copy tap off to the side hold down hit paste now I'm going to change the color of this box just because if I don't they'll look the same when I put them over top of each other and so I'm just gonna bring this in a little bit and a little bit. And now when I put that over, I can square those up together. All right, so I'm gonna click and hold that. I'm gonna add that one to shapes too. And this one, click and hold until rename comes up. And I'm gonna say inner box. And there we go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get rid of this here. So now we have an inner box and an outer box. Go ahead and delete that first one. We're just gonna work with the outer box right now. Go ahead up here to your plus symbol. We're gonna bring up your camera roll for whatever photos that you saved. This was really pretty. I like that deep purple, it's very shimmery. And so you can see that those shapes are really uh, oriented to pretty much fit that box, which is nice. So if I click and hold on the outside here, select all and mask with shape, there we go. That's really pretty. And then I can hit done. And now I'm going to add another shape. And now that I've saved that inner box, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that inner box. I'm not sure why it's bigger, that's okay. There we go, that looks like a nice box. Now, I'm gonna make this inner box white. So I'm hitting color, I'm gonna go over here and click on white. Now you could leave it like that if you want, or I can click on it again, or stay on that. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna look here at the opacity, and I'm gonna bring that down. Bring that down to about 60% there, that looks pretty. 61, that's fine too. Doesn't that look nice? That's a nice place that you can put some lists or anything like that. And so click off to the side, select all. So both of them are selected. I'm gonna hit copy, jump back over to good notes. And now I'm going to hold that option for paste. Whoops. And now if you have edges that you don't necessarily want, use that, uh, image tool or that photo tool we're gonna snap on that image we just put in there and we can see how we can finagle the the size of that a little bit oops now it wants to copy it tap and move it and just like that we have a perfectly fitting box so I want you guys to have fun with this play around with your keynotes app and uh, yeah, leave comments or pictures down below. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Everything that I used here today, I will link. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Bye guys.